are so lucky to have Rick Macy joining us here at the Tennis Channel Cadillac desk. How did you like the movie and do you believe it was an accurate portrayal of you? Well, first off, the, the movie's a masterpiece and it's so spot on, I can't even tell you. It was like, it, it blew me away. It really told the true story and almost everything in there is 100% spot on. I, I loved it. Wow. Rick, this must be bringing back so many memories for you. I mean, you've had so many experiences with them at such a pivotal age. When you were at the premiere in Florida and you're getting to see this sort of at this stage, it must make you reflect and look back. How, how was that for you? Yeah, no, it was, uh, it was incredible simply because that was one of the best times of my life. You know, I took a big chance. Uh, Venus and Serena are like my own daughters. Richard's was my best friend. To see this come out in a movie and how John Bernthal played myself, yep. um, it was incredible. I just, it, yeah, it brought back so many memories, um, but all good. It was so positive. Richard and I were on a mission. Yep. I was going to be denied. And as they say, the, the rest is history. <laughs> let's, let's just go back to the beginning because I want to hear it out of your mouth now. When, when you first met, and it was, you know, you had to do the whole pitch and, and try to convince them and vice versa and this whole thing going back and forth. What on earth was going through your mind? Because, of course, this is, this is what would be considered a long shot to work, but you, you, you had the belief. Yeah, you know, everything in life is in the eye of the beholder. Yeah. And I tell people what you may see might be different than Rick may see. So there's a whole hey! different... I like that. So, no, there's, listen, no, you know, I had Capriati for three years, you know. She was the most dominant junior player ever, won the national 18s as a 12-year-old. So my blueprint for greatness was probably like nobody in the world. So when I got this call from Richard, we started talking. The guy was hilarious. He said, I want you to come to Compton. I promise you won't get shot. You know, he's like, <laughs> the guy was the funniest guy. And I don't, go see, I don't go see people. They either come to the academy or I see him at a junior tournament. So I decide, what the heck? I'm going to go see this little kid. She was in the New York Times, undefeated in the 10 and unders. So I flew to Compton. The next day, that night, Richard Orstein, Venus Serena come to the hotel, just like yesterday. Venus on one leg, Serena on the other, <laughs> wow. arms around the father, hugging and kissing, close knit family. Yeah. And Richard, he pulls out a piece of paper. I thought I was in a deposition. This guy grilled me for like an hour because I think. <laughs> If he was going to let someone in their circle, he wanted a role model, a father figure, plus someone who's been there, done that. So we talked for a couple hours. The next day he goes, I'm picking you up at 7 o'clock, that bus you oh. see in the movie, same identical bus, and we're going to East Compton Hills Country Club. So they pick me up, uh, the bus comes, I get in the passenger side, I get harpooned in the butt off, <laughs> I'm looking in the back. There's Meek. I call her Meek. I don't call her Serena. Of course, Serena of course. Jamika Williams. Yeah. And there's VW. They're back there like that. There's oh, dirty man. laundry. There's McDonald's wrappers. <laughs> it, it, it was crazy. Now, remember, I was at a five-star resort, Greenleaf Golf and Tennis Resort. And I'm going, what in God's name am I doing in Compton, <laughs> California? So we start going to the club. And about 10 minutes in, I'm going, this is a strange place for a country club. We pull up to a park. Now, listen, this is crazy. We get out. People are passed out in the grass. People are smoking. They're <laughs> drinking. Guys are shooting baskets. We get out, and they go, hey, Richard. Hey, King Richard. Now, this was 1991. I'm sitting here going, this is crazy stuff. Hey, VW. Hey, Meek. Because the New York Times was there, like, right, you know, right. a couple months earlier. We go across the basketball court. It parts like the Red Sea. Okay, we go onto the tennis court, and I had a box of Wilson balls. He goes, Rick. We, we don't use new balls. We want old ones. I want them digging them out, bending. I, I got it. It was a little different. So now we get on the court. That shopping cart you see in the movie, it's on the uh, net post. Richard had like seven chains wrapped around the cart. It took him 20 minutes to get wow. the thing ready. He puts the old balls in. So I started hitting with Venus and Serena. We started doing drills. Venus was almost 5'10". Serena wasn't quite as mature arms, legs, hair, beads flying off their head. I'm sitting, now remember I had Capriati. Right. Unreal fundamentals from the late great Jimmy Everett. Racket back in the parking lot, low center of gravity. Yeah. So I'm going, what am I doing in Compton? They were like maybe 70 in the nation. And it's a great lesson for any parent, coach, or even Rick Macy. You don't judge a book by the cover. The book, the cover could be amazing, the book bad. The cover bad, the book amazing. So then what happened, we started playing competitive points and the whole landscape changed. 
the footwork got better. Oh. They were popping the popcorn, extra butter. The, the movement, everything just changed once I said game one. And it, it blew me away. I never saw two little girls try so hard. There was like a rage. There was something inside these two little kids. Now, I have a lot of kids that try hard, you know, and I've worked with a lot of great players. This was different, you know? And right then and there, I told Richard, come here. And this is in the movie. I said, let me tell you something. It was more about Venus, because she was more mature. You got the next female Michael Jordan on your hand. He puts his arm around me, he goes, no brother, man. I got the next two. Oh. So then, wait a minute, Great. so then, VW goes, Daddy, can I go to the bathroom? And so they're hugging and kissing, un unreal close-knit family, just like you see in the movie. Venus goes out the gate, walks on her hands for five feet, does backward cartwheels. I, now, this was the early 90s. If you were big and strong, you weren't that nimble. And I thought they could transcend the sport, okay? So I'm thinking six feet, 160, 5'10", 145, you know? So right then and there, I said, these two girls not only can be number one in the world, okay, they can transcend the sport. It's what I saw on the inside, because on the outside, I didn't see it at first. Wow. That's a tremendous story, and we just love having you here. You mentioned popcorn. My thought went to just sitting down and watching this movie once again. It was so great. Good luck. Well, we hope you get a nice seat with some popcorn to watch the Oscars <laughs> as it's King Richard is nominated for six of them. Don't go anywhere. We appreciated listening to Coach Rick Macy, and we've got live tennis from the Miami Open coming your way after this.